pick any three. What's yeah. the point to the left? It's opposite. Remember, we don't want to use the logical mind. We're bypassing conscious mind to go to subconscious. Yeah, basically you're supposed to make stories. Probably just to have fun and make people have stupid stories, but I'm using it as what I do anyway in class, so. So pick any sides of them. What'd you get? Oh well, first pick your three of them. Okay. I'm just so fascinated by this stuff. I'm just picking whatever you're attracted to, right? Because that's right. your subconscious. Is that a bumblebee? Yeah. But don't logically try to make a story. Because I see it. The Virgo. I saw the Virgo line. Now pick the okay, three pick. and don't. You're going to just think whatever you come up with. We have an Amelia mix, a strange mix, Fantasia. What are these? These are the different versions of this thing. I know, but which one is this one? They're all called story cubes. Okay, so Bumblebee. What's that other one? This one is sleeping, I think. It's these, right? Looks like it, yeah. Somebody sleeping? Because it's got Z's on it. Oh, right. One of those emojis of sleep face? Yeah. Sleep. So, Bumblebee. Z's. And what was the other one? Turtle. And a turtle. Okay. Tell me your story. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. <clears throat> okay. Tell me a story. We could do the same thing with the table. We can have the students yeah. pick three. We're going to have so much fun to tell me a story. That's going to be great. Okay. 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 Ok
and um, and also um, also this thing about you know uh, when you're a family, uh, you're part of the family, then you need to be included in everything. That means you know we're included in uh, if we had to help work. Uh, you know, or help uh, with groceries, or not so much making decisions, because when you're little, we weren't really included in too much making decisions until we got older. Um, <coughs> but that's it, being, that it was important to be, you know, include everybody. And what about competition? What were the values around you? <coughs> Positive or negative? Well, uh, we weren't athletic, so so I mean, uh, I didn't feel competition from that. But I I felt competition because I was it was my responsibility to be a good student because my dad always told us, you know, that we only have one job. And our job was to go to school. Were you the top student? I was close up there. I I don't think I, I wasn't straight A's, but I was definitely a B student. So I was up there, and um, and I always did do my best. And um, that was my competition, probably with school, mostly. Now you have a brother. Yes. But you didn't mention your brother. I what didn't mention the variants. My brother's two years younger than me. <coughs> um, and but he's I always thought of I've always thought of him more of a, a like an older brother. Because he's he's very diplomatic. Uh, you know, he's the one that kinda like keeps everybody stable. Uh, and we're all Virgos, by the way. <laughs> oh my God. All of us. <laughs> Jesus my mother, Christ. my brother, and my sister and me. The only Libra was my dad. Oh. <laughs> so there's your diplomacy anyway. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All of us. And I was born on my mother's birthday. So we have we share the same birthday. That's another class. Yeah. The importance of the birthday. Yeah. Okay. Because I noticed when you were saying your story, like you were like she, like to the the bee and the yeah. turtle, and I thought that was interesting. Yeah. And so it it's really about this. So sometimes students are like, well, what do I know what to ask? I just heard a theme of inclusivity. I heard a theme of we have to get there together or more or less be right. So there has to be something in the subconscious. There has to be a value about the inclusivity or competition. Now, maybe not competitive within your family, but maybe others, but there has to be this. Yeah, well, my competition um, with being, being the best I could be Right, and this for you within, within yourself, within myself. Right. right, to honor dad's request, yes. if that's your only job. And I'm job. actually the only college graduate in my family. Well, and isn't it interesting that the bumblebee, or the bee, is a worker? Yes. The bee is a worker, and the turtle is representative of mother. So you have mom and dad both there. You said caretaker, and your responsibility of the work was your grades. Right, exactly. So all of these things go back to the values, to the subconscious, what we were told. And if we listen, we can just pull that thread and understand why the client is in a situation. So what you've created, so to speak, with me. I mean, I call you my work mom, for goodness sakes. I'm a Pisces, 
<laughs> and I need a Virgo because that's our opposite sign. But you don't shun me, you include me. And every morning you're like, <laughs> <laughs> so right. It's like, and then we just had this conversation with my son yesterday about being part of the family and helping when we need to clean the house and get ready for things. Just had that conversation. So that, my friend, just yes, tell me a story. I love it. Any questions? I think we're good for tomorrow. It's going to be fun. Thank you for participating. You did? Fun.